let's look at how uh, the combination of quantum computing or hybrid computing, as you call it, with artificial intelligence is going to change artificial intelligence trajectory in the next uh, you know, few years. What it is that uh, quantum computing is bringing to artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence and data science is where a lot of computer science, mathematics, and statistics come together and meet one another. It's about, you know, if we want to do pattern recognition, how are we going to use those fields and mathematical models, you know, parameter tuning in order to accomplish an objective, which is quite easily understood by, you know, our, uh, all of our friends and our families uh, in terms of their use cases. And as we're developing those machine learning techniques to reach objectives like really efficient classification of, of images or really uh, handy techniques at anomaly detection as we're, you know, handling transactions, we are using mathematical modeling techniques, the ones that computers can calculate really easily for us. Um, and as that research in that field has been broadening, people have been exploring the bounds of what kind of mathematical models are easily calculated with computers. An important thing to keep in mind is that everything that a computer is doing for us basically has to get broken down into simple steps of addition and multiplication. And any task that doesn't break down easily into that um, is effectively not going to get well calculated by a computer. And that's going to create a limit of like what kind of techniques uh, machine learning and data science can approach. So a quantum computer is basically opening up an area of those problems where you're doing modeling where uh, it's not just important uh, the selection of certain opportunities, but also the combination, what, which, which group of them are you selecting together, which is you know, something that's commonly understood in terms of if you want to select a set of features to do classification, those features that you're selecting, the interrelationships are important in terms of your ultimate validation error and the cost to operate that. Why don't we look a little bit to the near-term future? Um, where do you think uh, the combination of quantum computing and artificial intelligence going in the next, let's say, three to five years, what new applications will be possible in the five-year time horizon? I'm going to mention maybe three examples to do with personalized medicine, transportation and logistics. Also, I think one that will be near and dear to the heart of, of your viewers, which has to do with you know, um, pattern detection. No quantum physics is, is required. Users can really uh, look at the application domain and bring their domain expertise to solve problems that are like where the program and the answer that comes back is very interpretable. In precision medicine, it's less about, you know, making things that work for everybody. And if they don't work for everybody, then, you know, it's not a good medicine. There are lots of opportunities where we can learn things about um, individuals and individual responses to treatments, which are going to allow us to um, really, I think, improve medicine, but require us to know, like, which combinations of factors of the genomics of the proteomics in our bodies and combined with the medicine that's under consideration, which allow us to tailor uh, treatments. In transportation and logistics, really, um, you know, that's a, a problem of both like helping folks to sort of really see how to do problem formulation, how to express their problems in a way that computers can understand, as well as the fact that even simple expressions are very complex for computers to handle. And these quantum classical hybrids are opening opportunities for, you know, business to look at like, you know, a lot of their decision variables at one time and, and get those efficiencies that, that were previously unavailable to them. And the last one I'm really looking forward here is that, you know, one of the, that we've seen lots of fascinating examples of areas where machine learning and data science have created these really interesting uh, examples of, uh, you know, image recognition or image creation that haven't existed before. But one of the things you don't see much of is you never see people successfully training complex symbolic mathematics. And that is because if someone is going to try to train a program, how to sort of say like, I'm going to select a series of options, but I can only pick one of 10. That kind of mathematics is not possible with the machine learning models that classical computers can handle well. But that's an example of the model that these quantum hybrid um, uh, approaches and solvers can actually make amenable. So I'm really excited about the future of machine learning where some of the like, like analytical logic actually starts to work its way into the models that the, uh, data scientists and machine learners are training, which makes some very advanced pattern recognition capabilities possible. And that is only gonna become possible when the quantum computing technologies and the classical computing technologies get hybridized 
and incorporated in those models. I, I think it'll be fascinating to see, you know, it's all the smart people out in the world who are watching this program. Those are going to be the innovators who will bring their ingenuity to uh, creating those really advanced capabilities, some of which I might not have even been able to imagine. <laughs>